Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another new video. Today, let's talk about uh, setting default apps on uh, good old Arch Linux. Um, Linux in general, in case you're not uh, sure what we're talking about here. Oh, actually first, whiskey check. Elijah Craig, just the normal Elijah Craig small batch. It's a really phenomenal whiskey. And hey, check it out, an amazing cork. That was weak. There we go, that's more like it. If a cork's ever not working for you, just lick it. And um, don't let anyone drink out of that bottle other than you, which I absolutely definitely do. Um, anyways, default apps. Uh, so as an example, I'm gonna use uh, Ranger, which is sort of my file manager of choice. Uh, there's not anything particularly special about it. I also have a PC Man FM installed. That's great as well. Uh, Thunar I've used in the past, it's great too. Um, this is just available right there on the command line, which is where I spend a good chunk of my time anyway. So uh, a great example of this is um, you know, let's say I'm browsing through some of my wallpapers and I want to uh, open one up. So let's say, here we go, I've got a plan to the apes or this tenant wallpaper, right? I want to open it up, so I hit the button to open it. Uh, and it opens it up, and this time it looks like it opened it up in SXIV, which is a pretty decent little minimal image viewer. I like it a lot. But the thing is, I've got a few different image viewers installed. I've got Fay, I've got S SXIV, I've got Mirage. Uh, there's also GIMP installed, which I might want to open an image in that sometimes. Um, and so it'd be nice to just pick a default app based on a file type. And so, for example, like if it's a JPEG or a PNG or a GIF or anything like that, let's just open it in Fay or SXIV. But, you know, if it's uh, an SVG file, let's open an ink. Escape. Um, that kind of thing is what we're trying to accomplish here. I, I think most people know what we're talking about, so that was probably completely useless. But uh, let's get into it. The tool that we're going to need here is um, XDG Utils. A lot of times, if you watch a lot of um, like Arch Linux install guides, they'll tell you to install this program, but they don't really tell you why. Uh, and this is why. It's what allows you to set default apps for your system. So I thought, let's just go through and uh, sort of set default apps for all the different things that would be on our system. So uh, actually, first we should probably install it. So we're gonna do um, sudo pacman-as and install xdg utils. So the first thing you see here is we can query a specific file to see what the M M I M E uh, type for that file is. And then we can actually view what the default app for opening that is, and then we can actually change the default. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, it looks like this might end up being a much shorter video than I originally and anticipated, but that's fine. Okay, so the first thing we can do is let's go ahead and do xgg mime uh, query file type and let's find an image that we want to find the file type for. So let's go to media, wallpapers, wallpapers, art, and pick one and it'll tell us the mime type. I'm just gonna say mime. I know that's not correct. I was saying it originally. It's the easier way to say it is uh, image slash jpeg. Then what we can do is we can find what the default app to open that is so we're going to do xdg mime query default for image slash jpeg is fay.desktop. Um, so now let's go ahead and change the default. So we're going to do xdg mime query and I'm going to say s, let's do gimp.desktop for image slash jpeg. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do default. We don't need the query part in there. Change that to default. So xdg mime default gimp desktop. Um, so now if we run xdg open and we pick an image, let's do media, wallpapers, wallpapers, and then just pick literally Im any image here. It's gonna open up with GIMP. Um, the issue is now if we go over to Ranger, which is the file manager that I like to use, um, and I try to open up an image, uh, let's come over here. It's not, um, and that's because Ranger doesn't use XDG utils as a default. Uh, you have to set it to do that. Um, it actually uses its own uh, file opener rifle. I don't know, that seems stupid, but what we can in theory, I think configure it to use XDG utils. So we need to go into the config for uh, Ranger. Uh, so we're gonna go into config ranger uh, rc.conf and let's just try and right up here at the top paste in this thing it just said else equals xdg open do 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 all that nonsense um go ahead and try to run ranger again okay still opening an xx sxiv um so i assume that what we want to do is create this rifle.config file uh, so let's go ahead and do that so let's go into config slash ranger. Let's create rifle.conf, paste that in, and then we can go back into our rc.conf and delete all of that from it. 
And now let's try and do this again. Media, wallpapers, wallpapers, uh, animals, pick one. Okay, perfect. So now Ranger should be using the same defaults as the rest of our system. And I bring this up to mention that depending on what apps you like to use, the, you might have to do some additional configuration. Um, so for example, we've set the default in to GIMP in XGG. So if I open up PC Man FM, just ignore the fact that this is really small for now. It's, it's like a weird issue with the way that I'm doing these screen recordings right now. If I try to open up an image, it's gonna use the XGG utils by default. So we're good. So now we can continue to just sort of go through and change things. So let's uh, go ahead and continue to mess with the XDG defaults. Uh, one thing we can do is just make sure that we set our default browser here and you just have to do XDG settings, set default web browser to Firefox, Chrome, whatever you like to do. I'm gonna set that just to make sure we're always set. But a lot of times you can do that, but also if you just set your browser in whatever shell you're using, Zish or Bash or whatever, you don't really have to worry about that at all. It'll always use that. So anyways, let's continue to go through here and just sort of set stuff up. I'm just gonna sort of set default types for all of our images here. So I'm gonna do XDG bolt or XDG uh, MIME and I wanna do default and I wanna set it to SXIV.desktop and I wanna set that for image slash JPEG. And then I also want to set it for image slash PNG. And let's go ahead and set it for GIF as well. And so now basically any image should open up in SXIV, my image viewer of choice. Take a look. Boom, there we are. Uh, one other thing I should mention, XIV, uh, you can config the colors pretty easily by creating a uh, .x resources file. And I just set the background to pure black, by default it's white, I find that a little more pleasing. So, I mean, really the, the main thing I would do is just sort of query the file type. So let's say we need a PDF. So I'm gonna, let's see, XDG mine query file type, and I wanna find one for, um, let's go into my Dropbox writing, I think I've got a, P a, a resume and a PDF version here. Okay, cool. So application PDF. And there's a few different PD PDF apps you could use. Uh, my favorite, I believe it's called MU PDF. Yeah, there we go. Um, so what I would want to do is XDG mime. Let's do query default for application PDF is set to Firefox. Let's go ahead and set that to, um, let's go mupdf.desktop for that. And in theory now, if I come into uh, that location where I store the PDF, resume, resume.pdf, cool, it's gonna open an MU PDF, very nice. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, there's a few other things we could do here. There's a lot of different file types, but I feel like maybe it's not super necessary to go through them all. I think you sort of get the idea here. Um, if you're ever really not sure what uh, what sort of file type you're messing with, you can query a file of that file type, figure out exactly what the M MMIE uh, file type is, and then change it. Um, so that's cool. This might be the uh, shortest video on this channel in a while, but uh, thanks for watching anyways. If you need a VPN, check out Pure VPN. See you in the next one. Bye.